I, well, I love the film, by the way. I'm a real sucker for a, a, a psychological thriller about someone who doesn't know if they can trust their own mind. And I like this. It was good. Yes. <laughs> um, I'm going to begin with you, Joe. Um, I believe this was an idea you've had with you for some time. I just wondered how different the kindred I've just seen is to, to the one that first came into your mind all those years ago. Um, I think it was about 10 years ago or something. And I think when I first thought of it, I thought about it from the family's point of view, you know, whether they were felt justified in uh, restraining this, this woman who would potentially run away with their um, um, grandchild. And I think that it, it was about the same time, it was before Room had come out, and it was kind of a, a it probably felt a bit fritzily, for want of a better word, you know, it felt a bit grim and a bit kind of dark. And I was just like, well, this doesn't seem very pleasant. I don't know if you really want to do that. It kind of left it in my ideas folder for 10 years. And then there's a bit of a long story about it. I met a producer, Dom, uh, an, at a prenatal baby class, because we were both having kids at the same time. We'd never met before and happened to sit next to each other. And then we did a short film together. And then we were like, okay, well, let's do a feature. So I had a couple of scripts written that weren't really suitable to be a, a first time film because they're all kind of big in scale and kind of unaffordable or overly violent or whatever it was. Um, so I had to kind of write something new. And I sat with my ideas folder and went through it with him. And all of a sudden, this idea that had sat there for 10 years kind of popped out at me. And I think it's because in the meantime, I'd had a kid who was about two at that point, and I had another one, had a daughter on the way. And just that, the idea had stayed the same, the sentence had stayed the same, but my perception of it had completely altered. You know, I was coming at it from a different angle personally. And I realised that the story should have be from the other perspective. You know, it should be the kind of... Uh, a more suspense driven kind of um, thing rather than a kind of horrific horror kind of driven thing. You know? I like the word frictally, by the way. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, tomorrow, I was going to ask because obviously, that so much of this, this brilliant character that's been crafted for you, it's, all, it's whether she can trust her own mind and what she's believing, what she's being, what she can see of her own eyes in many regards. It must have been a great role for you to get your teeth stuck into because it is one of those brilliant characters with so many complexities and kind of nuances to them. Yes, yes, it was. It's very, um, very layered. Like, and I often say that I really enjoyed. Um, how subversive she is in terms of being a young woman that doesn't want to have kids and is disgusted by children and is innately not maternal because I think we have a stereotype that people just want to have um, children and actually we don't in researching for all of this I, I just like it dawned on me how uh, common postnatal depression is post and perinatal and how um, debilitating it is an experience for a lot of women and how many many people there are countless forums online of people speaking at length about how much they regret their children <laughs> it was like a really um interesting scope into perspective on a subsector of society um that i was able to sink my teeth into in this in this character and in terms of dying her own mind yeah i think she's got a lot of secrets like there's a lot of things that you don't find out about charlotte's upbringing but people bring it up a lot and so whatever that is, is her biggest fear. Um, and so subconsciously, she's always going to feel that, like, I could be become like my mum or, you know, um, yeah. So I, th I like that there's that ambiguity there between her mental health and her being gaslit. And, uh, and Jack, I mean, you play a character that I wouldn't trust as far as I could throw. But I was wondering, when you play a role like this and get your teeth into a role like this, do you have to trust them yourself or at least understand their decisions and their motives in order to, to get into their mind and play them? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and it, it's very, with him, it was very easy to understand it instantly. You know, it's someone who just wants to be um, loved and who wants to be seen as the sort of the great fixer um you know who wants to serve but is just sort of serving himself in in, in ultimately so um he was very 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 easy character to tap into um you know di more difficult to actually think of, of 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 how to play him but easy to tap into yeah and of course the one person who's not in this chat but is fiona who who's brilliant as well so i'll ask you jack because obviously you share a lot of scenes with her what was she like to to collaborate with on this project because she is such a brilliant actress yeah, she, she she really is. She she um, as as Tamara said earlier, she sort of she she's one of these actors that can question everything, 
um, and uh, sort of doesn't take any, anything for granted, but also has at the exact same time an unbelievable playfulness um, in her. And um, she's not afraid, she's got no fear at all. Uh, and um, I think we were incredibly lucky to have her in this film um, in many ways. And um, you can see it on the screen here. Yeah. And, and and Joe, I was going to ask because I mean, this this film manages to kind of play on the tropes of the kind of the uh, archetypal kind of psychological thriller. You know, the remote kind of country abode, the kind of the pregnant protagonist, the the history of mental health in her family, and stuff like that. And yet, it felt so unique at the same time. I wondered about as a director playing up to the kind of beats of the genre, and yet crafting something that did feel quite new and original at the same time. Yeah, I think you know the most important thing when you're when you're writing the script for this kind of film is um, you have to know what the rules are, if you know what I mean. You have to understand what the audience's expectations are. And there are certain things you kind of almost need to include in a way in order for it to uh, fit into the genre properly. But that doesn't mean you need to fit them in the same way that everyone else does, you know? Like, I think it's something to be said for trying to, you learn what the rules are and then try and find a way to, to bend them to your will. That doesn't sound a bit weird. Um, so no, I mean, that, that was a kind of a script thing, you know, I think um, we put quite a lot of effort into it, the structure and, and, and what went on in, in, you know, so we hit quite traditional beats, you know, there's a quite traditional kind of three act structure to the film, but I don't think at any point you really know where the film's gonna go. I get so bored watching films that after the first 10 minutes, you're like, you know, I know this inside and out, I know what's happening. Um, there's no point watching the rest. But with, with our film, I'm really proud of the fact that you know, just when you think you're getting your head around exactly what's going to happen next, something else happens and it takes you in a slightly different direction. Yeah. And tomorrow, I mean, obviously you're known uh, primarily here for your for your fantastic work on stage, but it, can you see yourself doing sort of more movies from, from here on? Because I think you've got such a brilliant screen presence as well as a stage one. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely. Um, I think... Screen was always something I aspired to or, or was interested in doing because so much of my um, wanting to be an actor was about watching really good programs growing up and being interested in um, narrative. And I think screen gives you scope for so much detail that's um, not always captured in the same way on stage. And also in light of coronavirus, it's, just, it's useful <laughs> to kind of give to the screen direction if you have that you know if you have the opportunity to do that so yeah yes yeah, so my you. final work question was for you jack because obviously this is your first time producing i just wondered how you found that kind of new role and what it was about this particular project that made you want to get involved in a kind of different capacity to usual um it it, it, it was fantastic um because i spent less time thinking about acting um which i'm always trying to do anyway and um, particularly when i'm on a film but um the last thing I want to be doing is sat in a room thinking about how I'm going to say my lines, um, which is what I do. So um, this was just one big, great distraction from that. But um, but in a, on a serious note, it was also something that I really thoroughly enjoyed and enjoyed learning how to be, how I could be useful in any way whatsoever to, to Joe and to the other, and to Dom, the other producer, just how I could be useful. And um I'm very excited about doing more of it um, and maybe one day just doing that because I, it really, I said that to Joe quite early on was that I, I, I absolutely, I'm always so envious when I'm on a film set as an actor that you sit around and everybody seems to be doing things all the time and you're not, you're just sat there and I'm an incredibly restless and bored person. So um, it was sort of ideal for me, but it, it was just, it was, it was a wonderful experience because of that, for sure. Brilliant. Well, thanks so much for your time today, guys, and best luck with the film. I think it's brilliant. So I can't wait for it to get its UK release as well as the US one. Anyway. Well, thanks, Cheers. 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 Bye, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!